know, in 1 Thessalonians 1, 9, Paul says, you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. Now listen to this, and to wait for his son from heaven. Now, there is a doctrine that we call the doctrine of eminence. Now, you're not going to find the word eminence uh, in the Bible, but I tell you where, where you will find the word eminence in all of Jesus' teaching about the last days and very specifically his teachings about the last days for, for the church uh, because how he actually delivers the church is very different from how he delivers Israel. And like I say, if you confuse or conflate these two, these two events, you'll just never get it straight. You'll be confused all the time trying to figure it out. But eminence or the concept of eminence means that there is something that can happen any moment. You have no warning. There is no, there are no signs to, to tell you that it's coming. And so we are taught to live with an attitude of, of the imminent. And, and the imminent is that our Lord and Savior is going to call the bride of Christ out of planet Earth at some specific time. And in fact, when he talks about people not knowing the time that, they, that, that of his return, it's kind of interesting because he very clearly tells us how we can understand uh, the time of his second coming when he comes to deliver Israel. There's some very, very specific signs and warnings and things that have to come back in order for him to deliver Israel. The interesting thing, though, is for for his calling away his bride, there aren't any signs. Now, we can tell the general time. There's a lot of things that we can understand about it, but these are two different events and really how we prepare for them, how we look for them, what we do when we're waiting for them is so incredibly different one from the other. So he says, right now, we should be. Our main thing is that we are consciously and deliberately expecting the return of the Lord. <music>